introducing block apps, the easiest way to build blockchain applications. So what can you do with block apps? You can create your own private, customized blockchain ledgers. You can communicate with public blockchains, reading data from them and pushing transactions to them. You can connect to existing systems and devices, like existing payment systems, and mobile phones and devices even as small as a Raspberry Pi. You can build new businesses with blockchain-based products and services and make it easy for existing businesses to connect to the blockchain. We've been calling ourselves the operating system for blockchains. So here's our team. I'm Kieran James Lubin, our chief data scientist. I'm also a PhD candidate at UC Berkeley in mathematical physics. The rest of us are a mix of successful entrepreneurs and mathematicians and physicists. So just how easy is block apps? Imagine a new consulting company with three partners, Jim, Victor, and I. The company needs a contract that fixes revenue splits between the partners. Maybe we've just met each other, and we don't trust each other all that well. And everything has to be on paper anyway. It also needs a payment system that will automatically send money to the partners based on our deal. And we need a secure audit trail so partners can see that they've been paid and auditors can check that no money was lost. So how can we do this on the blockchain with block apps? So let's go ahead and build out that contract and let's see if I can do it in about five minutes. So I've set up our command line tool block already and scaffolded a, an empty project. Um, so it comes with a config file, kind of looks like a normal web app, but we've got this contracts folder. So this is our standard blockchain application structure. Contracts contain um, just what I'm going to build. So let me make a new one. Let's call it simple payout. So contracts are declared with the word contract. giving us all addresses at which we'll receive our payment. There'll be a init function and a dividend function. Also, we'll need a little hash table that declared with the word mapping. called the ownership. So that's the ownership percentage. So when we init, I'll hard code the addresses. Victor will be uh, no, nine A's. will be nine B's. Be nine C's. And then let's assign the ownership percentages. Let's give Victor 25%, Jim 25%, and I'll take 50 because I'm making the contract. And in the dividend function, what we'll end up doing is first get the total balance. So this refers to the contract. 
and then we're just going to pay it all out. We're just going to pay Victor's percentage. We got to divide by 100 because I based the units out of 100 there. Okay, do the same thing for Jim and I. Okay, looks good. So let's compile this thing. And then let's upload the contract. Okay, so let's run it. Now that we've uploaded the contract, let's go ahead and run it. Let's go ahead and log in as developer, type our password. Okay, let's initialize the contract with some ether. There it is. We see the addresses that we hard coded, and the contract balance is five ether. Well, um, let's go and check and see if there's anything at those addresses right now. So this is our query API. Okay, nothing. So now let's do the payout. See the contract balance went to zero. Let's reload this. Up. Oh, there's a state there, and looks like Victor got about 25%. Looks good to me. So you can cut out uh, all your negotiations. You don't need your lawyers, and your accountants are happy. Thank you from Block Apps, the easiest way to build blockchain applications. Come visit us at blockapps.net.